Hey guys, welcome back, it's Darla. So today I just wanted to show you guys how I make my baby food uh, for my son that I've been making for him since he was about six months old. So I wanna quickly just show you everything that I've got. So, of course we've got our easy foods like avocado, banana, um, I was doing strawberries for a while, like when he was six, seven, eight months. But when you puree the strawberries, they are so liquidy. It's like a drink. The raspberries are a little bit thicker and he does like them. So I've been doing that. And this is how I buy his uh, fruit. I just get organic if I can and frozen. It's been sitting on the counter for a little bit. So it should be good to just throw in the food processor and that's literally all I'm gonna do and then I'll divvy it up into um, little containers and that will be it, which is, I'll show you guys how I do that. So he loves mango so much. So I got him a big thing of mango and then some peaches, sweet potato, organic, and then he loves peas. These are his favorite. And I've been slowly trying to introduce like broccoli and green beans mixed with the peas, hoping that he'll eat it that way because he won't eat it plain by itself. So I got some broccoli, the rest of it is all peas. I also wanna slowly start trying to incorporate some uh, soft foods for baby led weaning and trying to push that a little bit more, but that's gonna take time. So in the meanwhile, I'm still gonna be having this, these purees on hand. Uh, my carrots, I got way too big of a bag. <laughs> um, I've got so much squash already, but I just wanted to show you guys uh, the type of squash I get. Most of what you can see is obviously like the frozen food that's already done. It makes your life so much easier, I promise. And then of course, our rolled oats organic. So typically, I normally put this in a food, a food processor first and blend it all up. Um, and then, you know, I cook it as normal, but this time I am going to try to just cook it as is. He's 10 months old. I feel like he should be old enough to be able to eat it like it is. So we'll see how that goes. But anyways, I'm going to get into it and show you guys how I make all this food. Okay. So I just set the oven to 425 so we can start getting the oven warmed up for sweet potatoes. And then next I want to go ahead and put a pot of boiling water on the stove. All right, so next I'm gonna get my steamer. Just using a regular steamer. Putting that on the top. And it will get a lid. Ahead and I'm gonna put the squash back since I already have so much squash. So I also had been giving him zucchini for a while. He loved zucchini for a long time. And then one day he decided that I hate zucchini. This is horrible. And we just start screaming every time I gave it to him. So he doesn't get zucchini anymore. So now we're down to like peas, carrots, sweet potatoes. What else? Trying to do the green beans and broccoli mixed in with the peas. Just doing what he will let me do. Okay, we're gonna let that steam. That, then we will do sweet peas and broccoli to see how he'll like that in the future. Who knows? Okay, next thing. Let's go ahead and rinse out our sweet potatoes. Okay, so wash them. I've got my big fork because these sweet potatoes are huge, okay? So, I'm going to, see if you guys can see. Start just poking holes everywhere so the sweet potato can breathe. Also, I started about 12.45-ish. So, we'll see how long it takes me to do all this. I try to multitask, like I'm doing this. I've also got the peas on, on the um, 
and the steamer. So I bet you by the time I poke all these holes, throw this in the oven, they're gonna get be ready and then I can switch them out with the peas and broccoli to steam while I am processing the peas that are cooked now. So that way we are multitasking and accomplishing a lot at the same time. Your mama, you understand. All right, so we are going to, to cook this for about an hour in the oven. If I remember how to work my oven. Okay, I just like to have them nice and soft. Okay, so peas are probably about done. So let's come over here, look. All right, not quite ready. Clearly as I'm stabbing it, it's not ready. Got a big ball of peas that is just frozen in here. All right, so just keep that, break that up a little bit. Okay, so while that is doing that, I think what I'm going to do is use my food processor, not my food processor, my blender. When I've got a little bit of a larger load, when I have a little bit of a larger load, I like to use my blender. So, let's go on over to the blender. So I just have like a regular Ninja. And we are just gonna open this up. I'm just dumping it in here now. See how it almost fills that up? That's why like if I have a really large load, it just makes sense for me to just use the blender. All right. Let's turn this on and there's a puree button. So, I don't know if your blender has a puree button. It probably does. Okay, so, this is definitely a lot thicker than I normally like to do it. I guess that they weren't as melted as I thought it was. But, you know what, it's okay because when I heat it up, it's gonna get softer. I don't feel like any like crazy clumps or anything. And I'm not looking for a super crazy thin puree. Like, of course, if I wanted to make it thinner, I could let it sit out longer and then put in the food processor. Or I could add some water, formula, milk, or whatever to make it thinner. But anyways, let's go ahead and put these in our little silicone. Here we are. So... And then the peas are almost ready too, so that's great. I'm just gonna use a spoon. Let's see if I can't just take this out. And see, you guys see how thick this is? It's like kind of crazy. This is literally the thickest I've ever done it. Of course, when I go to show you guys how I've been doing this for like four months, <laughs> I would, you know, not have the best version of how I normally do this, but whatever, it's life. Okay, so let's set this aside. All right, I just wanna like chop through it, make sure there's no like big clumps or anything. Okay, it feels fine, it's just real thick, but that's what I was going for, so it's okay. So also, I wanted to tell you guys um, why make his baby food? One, it is cheaper, even if I'm buying organic, pre-cut up, pre-done. Like, one of these small bags is like two seventy nine dollars or something. And, you know, I can get multiple servings. That small bag is 10 ounces. If you get, um, organic baby food, four ounces, it's anywhere between $1.50 to $4 I found. Which is crazy expensive. Also, um, I know it's fresh. I know that there's like no preservatives in it. 
I made it. I know what's in it. Um, another thing that makes me anxious to give him pre-made baby food, I do give it sometimes, but I only choose certain brands because a lot of baby food has have a ha, has high levels of arsenic. So that also gives me anxiety. So I would just rather food prep it. I do this about once every three weeks and it honestly it's worth it. Like it's a little bit of a pain because who wouldn't just rather open up a jar like sure it's easier that way but it's so worth it to know that he's getting good food and I get to control how thick or thin it is to help graduate him to um, soft foods. So that's what we do here. All right so I only have two of these, so I have to rotate them out like every 12 hours. I'm not gonna lie. It's a tiny bit of a pain in the butt. I wish I had more, but I'm trying to graduate him to soft food, so I don't wanna have to do this much longer. Honestly, I'm hoping that I'll only have to do this one more time, and then <laughs> he'll just be on his way to Mostly solids. We'll see. All right, I'm gonna clean this out real quick. Okay, so. So that big bag, how many ounces was that? It was like 30, it was 32 ounces. So I've already made seven servings. And these um, little silicone things are like 2.5 ounces total, so. I usually give him, I'll offer him two. So he'll get like, for instance, mango and a sweet potato um, per each meal. And he typically that's all he wants. So total that's like five ounces of food that he'll get per serving. Okay guys, that is, that's really full. Cool. That's another seven servings, so we're at 14. I have enough in here to do one more serving, so that 32 ounces is about 15 two and a half servings, which I think is awesome. That bag was like $7.99, so it's a lot cheaper than buying it. Let's go over here and um, do our peas. Oh yeah, these are like almost two bucks. Okay, I definitely, y'all multitasking. I'm try, I try to do it, but it's very difficult when you're doing like essentially three things at the same time. Like I was cooking these peas, um, doing the sweet potatoes while I'm putting the mango in the food and the blender. So, you know, it's just a lot going on. Okay, so. Because I only have two of those silicone things, this is what I do next. Because remember, I have to rotate it every 12 hours. So, where did I put this thing? Oh, okay. All I do at this point is put it in a little container. Okay. So, makes about this much is in here, so it's like, hang on, let me just show you. It's like almost to the top, see? That was three small bags of peas. So, this is gonna go in the fridge. So, what I like to do when I ever have to peel anything is double bag a trash can. Not a trash can, double bag your trash bags. Get some paper towel, line it at the bottom, fun fact, when I was little, my mom used to make these and they were our throw up bags, so now they are my um, peeler bag, I guess you could say. <laughs> so let's take this big honking thing, I'm not peeling all these, I'll be here for like 10 years. I didn't know, so they had like a two pound bag and a five pound. I usually do about three, so I'm just like, guess I'm getting the big one. 
All right, guys. Oh my God, look how big this carrot is. <laughs> Let's get our blender back. All right, let's throw all this crap in the trash can. Okay. We'll throw this back on here. Okay, so while that was blending up, I went ahead and I just um, rinsed off the carrots, cut them up kind of like this. If they were really big, then I even cut them like in additional half to so it'll cook better. So I want to go ahead and change out the water in the steamer. So there is a lot that I cook, I prepped. I did probably about half the bag. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick. That covered up like almost a whole steamer. So let's go ahead and Put a lid on. Oh my goodness, it just barely fits. For this is our peas and broccoli. So this is gonna have an orange lid so I can tell part the peas and then the peas and broccoli mixture. All right, it looks good. Okay, so also I wanted to show you guys, like I use this yogurt too a lot along with like banana, um, avocado, unsweetened applesauce is a really easy one. The baby foods that I like to get that are a little bit safer for him are, when I say safer, I mean they have lower arsenic levels. It makes me feel more comfortable giving it to them. However, um, they are definitely pricier. Like this guy was like $2.50. Not terrible. There's some that I buy that are closer to like $3. So I'm like, that's a lot. Um, they're four ounces, but these are called Once Upon a Farm. They're really good. Okay, another one that's really good, um, other brands, are the Seri Belly. They're really good. These are, I believe, closer to $3. They're also four ounces. This one is only three ounces. Uh, there, It's also on the pricier side. Um, it's called Regeneratively Farmed Biodynamic Baby Food. Sorry, you can't even see that. Um, I haven't really been repurchasing that one though because it's small and it's expensive and Serenity Kids is the best one you can get. This is the one that I use um, for his baby puffs. The If you get a four ounce thing like this in the Serenity, Serenity Kids, they're like four dollars. They're really good. It's really good quality. You're, you are truly um, getting what you pay for. And then this I want to say, I just bought a pack on Amazon. It was like six for 35 bucks. I know that's pricey, but it gives me anxiety when I'm giving him food, knowing that they have higher arsenic levels and that it's not good for him. It makes me like freak out a little bit on the inside and I want him, this is the only food right now that he'll feed himself. This and some teething crackers, which I'm using the baby mum mums. Let me show you guys those. These, um, have a certain type of rice, I forget what it's called. Japonic, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, but I'm gonna hope that you guys can kind of see it. I hope you can, type of rice, anyways. So that is what I am using for him. Cause it has, it still does have arsenic in it. It's just lower than the other brands. So, and I think this was like 250. It wasn't bad at all for what, a 12 pack of two yeah 12 packs with two crackers per each pack and anyways that's just some side baby food that i also give to him because no he doesn't always get home prep stuff and i know in today's day and age you're not going to just eat whole foods because that's not the world we live in so i'm trying to be practical but i also want to try and get him healthier versions of the types of ready to eat foods. Okay, so I'm gonna let the carrots go for a while until they are like super nice and tender. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut these peaches. Okay guys, so that's about what this made. Again, we're gonna go ahead, ration it out. Okay, so that was pretty good. Made a whole container. Okay, I just checked on the carrots. They're not quite they're not quite ready. So we've still got our raspberries back here. 
that we can blend up. So I'm going to go ahead and blend up that. Hopefully our carrots will be done by then. Then our sweet potatoes should be finished. And then guys, we will actually be done with our baby food meal or baby puree meal prep. Okay, I almost forgot about this oatmeal. So I just went ahead and put three cups of boiling water onto the stove because I want to make, um, I'm just gonna do the three servings because one time I did four and I don't know, it just, it just didn't work out for me so I don't make that much in bulk anymore. Um, it's probably just a me thing, but I've got that going. Raspberries just finished blending up. We've got our raspberries, we've got our container for it because it's not as big as the other servings. All right guys, let's come see how the carrots look. I want to show y'all, like, see how easy I can just stab through it, like, effortlessly. That's how soft you kind of want your carrots to be if you want to blend them up, or you're going to have a real hard time and have lots of chunks. Alright, full thing of carrots. Alright, carrots are still going. We've got a cup and a half of our oats. We've got our boiling water. That for a second. So, the last time I made this, I added in some cinnamon. So, I'd like to do that this time too. Um, carrots, though. Finally, I got those nice and pureed. I did have to go in there with a big spoon and mix it a few times. There goes the sweet potato. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys real quick. I added a banana in here. You already saw me add the cinnamon. I I usually do like some carrots in here, but I decided that I wanted to do bananas. So I'm just going to kind of let that melt in here. And then when I go to heat it up, I heat it up over the stove. And I'm just going to add in some formula at that time when I go to serve it. And it will be nice and yummy. But yeah, I'm just going to let that cook down a little bit more. Yeah. So, carrots came out nice. We need to get the sweet potatoes though. So, let's get those out of the oven. Ooh, those look nice. Okay. Use my handy dandy little oven mitt. And turn myself. And I'm gonna lay this down over the counter so I can actually bring it over. And decide how I'm going to divvy it up. Alright guys, so let's test it out. Mm. I actually am not happy with that. So, I really thought that was going to be long enough because it was an hour at 425. So, let's put them back in. And I guess once I've, we put the oatmeal away, we'll be able to deal with the sweet potatoes. Okay, guys. So, finished our oatmeal. I wanted to show you guys too, like what it looks like. So bananas and everything are all mixed in for the most part. And there we have it. So it looks nice and mushy. Like I said, I'm kind of experimenting with you guys today because I normally, like I said, 
blend his oatmeal up before I go and do it, before I serve it to him. But I'm trying to graduate him. So, I'll let you guys know how he likes this. I sure hope he does. I think it turned out really well, bananas and cinnamon. And then just add some formula. Okay you guys, so I just took the sweet potatoes out of the oven and they look like they're done. I, like they're a lot more soft versus last time they weren't soft. So I've got a little container here. Let's go ahead and divvy this up into my container here. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you the consistency. I ended up cooking these a total of an hour and 15 minutes on 425 in the oven. This is about four large sweet potatoes. And I feel confident, it's a nice good consistency. I feel comfortable giving this to him. I didn't have to puree this at all. Straight out of the sweet potato. Okay guys, there you have it. This is everything we've got our peaches and our what was in here carrots and raspberries and oatmeal and peas and peas with broccoli sweet potato mango we've got our bananas we've got our avocado that are easy to do we've got our unsweetened applesauce we've got yogurt baby yogurt the stone fill kind of showed you um so that is all the stuff that I prepared for him. Plus, you know, it's typically a new squash, but I've, like I said, I've already all prepped a ton of that. I don't need to prep any more for him. So this is gonna be it, guys. It is currently 2.32. What time did we start? Like 11.45. So what, an hour and like 45 minutes or something? I can't do math. Not terrible. We made it a lot of food. So now all I'm gonna do is every 12 hours, I switch this out, I put it in a Ziploc bag, I put what it is, the date, and do the same thing to the next one until they're all cycled through. So thank you guys so much for watching, guys. I hope you like this video. I hope this gives you inspiration to do this for your little ones if you're interested. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help my channel out. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.